Hello knowledge seekers. Today's video is the extension of the previous one about the structural steel installation. Uh, generally piping or pipeline the flange bolt tightening procedure we are always uh, giving some importance but tightening the bolts in steel structural members not exactly the same as the piping or pipeline flanges. So let us have some detail of this structural steel bolt tightening inspection. Before starting the bolt tightening uh, activity, we should have some pre-installation verification. ASTM A325 and ASTM A325M high strength volt 3 by 4th or 20 mm diameter shall be used in all bolted structural connections unless otherwise noted in the contract document. To have a clear idea how a bolt tightening procedure looks, I am using some specific data. However, larger ASTM bolts may be used when required to meet connection capacity requirements and shall be clearly flagged on the erection drawings. All high strength bolts shall be type 1 galvanized. Galvanized washers and nuts shall be furnished for galvanized bolts. All bolts, nuts and washer shall be properly identified and marked with material grade and manufacturer logo if required by respective ASTM standard. All fasteners having no mark will be rejected. Should any unmarked fasteners be installed, they shall be removed. Mechanical testing of unmarked fasteners shall not constitute justification for their use. ASTM A325 and A325M bolts shall not be reused. Mechanically galvanized bolts and nuts shall not be intermixed with hot dip galvanized one. Now installation procedure. Slip critical or friction type connections shall also be used for crane guarders and crane guarder supports connection. All high strength bolts shall be furnished with nuts and washers. Fastener materials such as bolts, nuts and washers required material test certificate or MTC to verify bolting components to meet requirements of the specification. Prior to bolting, following requirements shall be checked. All bolt hole shall be standard holes as defined in the specification of structural joint using high strength bolts unless otherwise specified in the design drawing. All sharp corners, bars, including bolt hole bars, well spatter, slag, well flux, loose mill scale and other foreign metal. Hardened washer shall be provided under all bolt heads and or nuts adjacent to any ply with oversized or slotted holes. For standard holes, a minimum of one hardened washers shall be supplied with each bolt. For joints that are designated for snug tighten joint, the bolt shall be installed in accordance with the standard. For joint that are designated for pretensioned or slip critical, the bolt shall be installed in according to the standards requirement consecutively. This standard might be different for you or different for me, so that's why I'm not mentioning the exact standard. Generally, we use the snug tighten joint for the normal structure. The pretensioned or tensioned, I am mentioning here, but I will not discuss in detail. Let us discuss the snug tighten joints. All bolt holes shall be aligned to permit insertion of bolts without undue damage of the threads. Bolts shall be placed in all holes with washers positions if required and nuts threaded to complete the assembly. Compacting the joint to the snug tight condition shall progress systematically from the most rigid part of the joint. The snug tightened conditions is the tightness that is attained with a few impacts of an impact range or the full effort of an iron worker using the ordinary spur range to bring the connected piles into firm contact. Pre-tension joint. For pre-tensioning method, I am not going in detail. If you need, you can stop the slide and you can read it. 
for you. Turn off not pretensioning method. I am not going in detail. If you need, you can stop the slide and you can read it for you. If the bolt length is not more than four times the diameter, then both faces normal to bolt axis needs one third turn. One face normal to the bolt axis, uh, the slope not more than 1.2 d half turn and bolt face slope not more than 1 is to 20 from the normal bolt axis it requires two third turn. Same you can uh, see for the bolt length 4 d, more than 4 d but less than 8 d, more than 8 d but not more than 12 d we need how many turns the table specified very clearly. Nut rotation is relative to the bolt regardless the element being turned. For required nut rotation half turn or less the tolerance is plus or minus 30 degrees. For required nut rotation of two third turn and more the tolerance is plus minus 45 degree. Applicable only to joints in which all material within the grip is steel. When the bolt length exceeds 12 d the required nut rotation shall be determined by actual testing. Some of the do's and don'ts for the inspector in connection with uh, alignment checking and bolt tightening. Inspector must verify pre-installation verification has been performed. He should verify the joint has been snug tightened. Verify the original position of all elements. Routinely witness the installation crew turning the nuts and bolts. Verify the final rotated position of all elements. Prohibit excessive rotation discovered or witnessed from being adjusted to reflect turn values from the table. The inspector must not use a torque wrench as an inspection tool. Inspection is only as described in our procedure. Verified in initial position at snug and final position after the nut is turned. Assume marking was applied prior to turning. Tighten and then marking the nut after the turn is very popularly way to perform turn of nut and it is an undetectable deception if initial position marks are not observed by the inspector. Instruct bolting crews to back off the nut that is greater than what appears on the table. Over rotation is not a cause of rejection or rework. Compensating for over rotation by backing the nut off will result in less than the required pretension. While it is recommended that the bolt, nut and steel be marked and inspected prior turn off implementation. This step is not mandatory. In any case, failure to inspect nuts in their original means snug, unturned position will result in unverifiable turn off execution. Nut making does not relieve an inspector's responsibility to inspect the connection twice, before and after the turn. A pretension that is greater than the required value shall not be cause for rejection. Thank you for listening to my video and paying attention. If you like my video, please share to your friend and don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification button to get the notification same time I post a video in my channel. Signing off, Showman.